Hey guys, it's the Sandcap Guide weekly podcast and today I'm happy to announce that we've got a special guest, Troy Thompson, island resident and the son of a fairly famous local restaurateur. Hi Troy, thanks very much for joining us. And who's his dad? His dad would be Larry Thompson and tell us a little bit about the uh, restaurant you might have guessed looking at the uh, the t-shirt there. The Lazy Flamingo. Flamingo. Obviously, uh, if you're listening to this, you won't be able to see it, but it's the Lazy Flamingo. And uh, tell us a little bit about the history of uh, of your, your you. So you grew up on the island, Troy. Yes. Yeah, I grew up out here. And uh, the Flamingo started in 1988. My dad and his uh, business partner wanted something like you know the seafood casual right off the beach dining. And when he moved here in 1977, they didn't have anything like it. And where did your dad come from? He came from Winter Garden. Florida. Oh, and what brought Which, him to Sanibel? Do you know? Uh, my aunt moved down here. Okay. And so he came down and checked it out and right. never left. Did he have restaurants in Winter Garden? Nope. Lazy no. Flamingo was his first one. Really? Yep. yep. That was, did a lot of things before that. But really? Lazy Flamingo was so his first he just restaurant. decided to dive straight in. Mm-hmm. And yep. So Lazy Flamingo is a place special to my own heart. It was uh, a restaurant when I first moved there in 99. Uh, I worked uh, worked briefly at uh, Sanibel Print and Graphics, and your dad Larry used to get printing and things done there. Uh, worked for the Horton Boys, uh, still friends with them today. And uh, so going back there, and then any time we finished early on a Friday or something like that, we'd always stop at the Lazy Flamingo on the way home. I, I was pretty close to getting my name on a stall, but not quite. You know, right. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be. You got to be a diehard, right? Yeah. <laughs> Would you explain that? Do you guys still do the stools? Uh, so the one in Fort Myers, they're still putting names on. We haven't put a name on the one in Sanibel for a long time. Okay, uh, they've, they've all been full since I can remember. Uh, right, really? I don't know. So you never get demoted. You don't get your name taken off. We of do stuff. have a lost flamingos wall where we'll we'll put them up there if you leave oh, okay. off the island or pass away. We oh. We throw them up there on the wall for everybody. Okay. So we do have a section when we run out of space, we put them up there. Right. But so Fort those, Myers, you can still get your name on. You can still, okay. still go in there. So those of you don't haven't been to the Flamingo, it's like it's a brass plaque, is it, on mm-hmm. the back of the stool that has your name on it, and you yep. can usually a nickname the the bartenders give you. Uh, right. Yeah. It's usually nice. Usually a nice name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People love them. They come in and they look. They spend. A lot of time looking for their name and yeah. or someone they know's name and they'll go look over and it, take a ask picture. Ask people to lean forward and so they can look at the bracket on it. Yeah, yeah. That's no, cool. that's cool. And I used to take Max in there uh, where he was. We Max was six months old when he moved over here. I used to take him in a baby carrier, go in there and get a bit of something to eat. And the girls used to all swoon over little baby Max. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Hey. So uh, still do. And it has, so tell me this, uh, the original one was where? The original is on Blind Pass. That's the one that my dad started with his partner in 1988. And Do you know, was that an existing restaurant? That it, or do you know what was there before? It was a, a pizza place, I believe, called Gringo's. Okay. Is what I, what I've what been, been told. told. And then uh, right behind the warehouse used to be a gas station. And they oh. had pumps back there and everything. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. But they've pulled all that out. Right. right. Yeah. Like that. But yeah, and you and you live fairly close to there, I understand. Right on top. Yeah, there you go. Right so what, what the best apartment in uh, Southwest Florida, no doubt. Can't beat it. Oh yeah, yeah it's a great. You Can't got a view it. and everything. Yeah, view of the water. And Always do you actually go out and take advantage? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh good. I go out there all the time. I was out there during the hurricane. Were you? Yeah, yeah. What was it like? It was windy. Yeah. It was windy, but it was just like a regular right. day on the beach. Not really a hurricane. We just had a tropical, tropical storm. storm yeah, yeah, called Elsa that just came through yesterday and the day before. So Yeah, the rain was the rain was pretty pretty sharp when it hit you, but it's like riding your motorcycle in the rain. Like right. Nothing terrible. Yeah, but yeah. It was worse. it's just a lot, wasn't it? A lot of big volume. Yep. But it wasn't too bad. Yeah. A lot. But oh, it's no. passed through now. We didn't get too much flooding back there or anything. Oh good. Which you normally do. Yeah, it's usually pretty bad flooding, but we didn't get any pretty bad flooding. Yeah, cool. and then uh, so just tell me a little bit. So I've, I've I mean, I, if you haven't been to the Lazy Flamingo, you got to check it out. Their oysters are the best out there. I mean, Thank they you. shuck them right in front of you. So, and I can say from experience, you know, they if they, if anything looks slightly squirrely, they do get rid of it. So I, you know, right in front of your eyes. So it, it's one of the few places I'll eat oysters. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, if you if you're going in there, there's a few things that are on the menu that you got to check out, like the 
the Mar- wings. The marinara oh, bread. The what are, wait, Troy, what are your favorites before we say ours? Yeah, that's okay. good. Because we go there as a family quite a bit. My favorite is the black and grouper sandwich. Black and grouper sandwich. For sure. Uh, okay, and insider and the tip. Wings. The wings? But the wings are great. A lot of people don't realize that we have You have a ma- wings. great wings. Great yeah. wings. We don't freeze the wings. That's the big the big trick. Really? You know, fresh fresh chicken wings and it makes a huge difference. What's what sauce? Terry hot. Terry hot. Teriyaki hot. Teriyaki sauce mixed with the hot sauce. That's your fave? By far, yeah. All right, well, and then tell everybody about the dead parrot. The dead parrots are hot. They're really hot. We use about seven different peppers in them. No it's, way. Uh, it's a little secret blend, but it's they're hot. They taste good, though. They're not just... They don't just burn your mouth and you can't taste anything. They have great flavor. If you like, if you like hot stuff, it's it's the best flavor. Right. It's not just gonna burn you, but so we get so if we get the wings, we get the uh, terry hot with a side of dead parrot. Can't yep, be beat. That's the way to do it. You can't do it. You can't right. beat that. Yeah. You can't beat it. No, and that's what we always do. Right, and then we also big time we do the marinara bread, which I don't think is really on the menu, is it? Like you get a, a bowl of marinara with bread, uh, garlic bread. Yeah, it's on there under the flamingo bread. Oh, is it flamingo bread? bread. Yeah. We make the uh, we make the butter, the garlic butter ourselves. We make the marinara from hand by hand from scratch. So yeah. it's uh, we crush the tomatoes by hand. It's, oh wow! We really? Make, we make all our sauces. We make everything like that. So. Yeah. And then uh, also then what's uh, and then the we always get the peel and it's we always get the peel and old bay season and you can't beat it. So we always eat, do like fam, family style whenever we go there. We sort of order a load of different things and that's but, the best pass them way out. To do it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we can't recommend it enough. It's one of our favorite restaurants. Always has been. Thank and you. not just saying it because Troy's there. It's got a great atmosphere. Yeah. And the coldest beer on the island. Cold. Tell, it, tell everybody the tell everybody how we the beer the is so ice cold. Chest in the middle, and we just fill it up with all the beer bottles and all the beer, and you know it's we use the little little pellet ice. Ice, so it, it good covers ice. Covers the bottle. Yeah, you got to have that ice. The big the big chunky ice doesn't doesn't form actually to the bottle. right. Yeah. The pellet ice forms on the bottle, and you, you can't find colder beer. Yeah, so yeah. you literally ask for a beer. The waiter, waitress, actually, or the bartender literally plunks it straight out Pulls of that right ice bath ice. or ice and. And yep, that's great stuff. Right yeah, great stuff. We keep it iced down all day, and it's, it's the coldest beer. I wish I could drink there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not allowed. I just don't. But yeah, right. I, well, you're working. Not supposed to. So I, I try to not. You're right. Drink there. I, I like to go other yeah. places. You know, I, I just can't feel like I'm relaxed. You know, I, I'm always. Sure. Well, tell, 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 tell them why. Because you you actually work for. Yeah, you, you run the operations whole thing. manager for me. So I don't. Okay. When I'm in there. I can't like just yeah, right. so you focus on your job. Yeah, you're you're yeah we That's get awesome. it. We get it. Right. So I don't want to be in there drinking. Right. And well, what's your What's your spot then? Where do you like to go on the island? What do you recommend? I don't really go out. No, I don't really <laughs> he just get goes to go to the out. Beach. No, I go to my house. Yeah. yeah. Wait till the lazy's closed and then go in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, uh, there you go. Sneak in downstairs. Yeah, I, don't, I don't go out too much around here, but you know, Cassie Bell the Coconuts has a nice pool bar. I like to go there sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know, it's uh, at Cassie it's Bell nice. Resort. Their pool bar is called Coconuts. So yeah. Right. It's, and then uh, I'll go down. I'll make my way down to RC Otters and Keyline Bistro with my okay. uncle sometimes and right. yeah. hang out there if I get out. But yeah, I don't. I don't tend to go out too much. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and uh, Cassie Bell was actually in the process of getting an old new pool bar old pool deck and everything because they oh. put up a new fence i don't know if you know no, i was I there know. the other day and they've put up a new fence and they're doing some they're going to be doing some work not right now gotcha. but i uh, don't know what they've got going huh, but uh, so anyway so we're talking about so you have the two lazy so the original one is the one at blind pass and then lazy two is where's that one on periwinkle 1036 periwinkle way Yep. So it's literally as you come across the causeway, take your first right, and right you can't miss it. Can't miss it. Second building on the right. Is Second it? building. The first is uh, Sanibel Fresh. We also have that as well. So Sanibel Fresh is like a, a breakfast lunch spot. We do. We have a gluten free bakery, vegan options, stuff like that. Sandwiches, soups, salads. Great breakfast. We do uh, key lime pie pancakes that are. Ooh, that sounds excellent. good. Yeah. You mean the chef there is does an incredible job there. She so it's only open breakfast and lunch. Not breakfast dinner. and lunch. Okay. Only and we're closed Monday, Tuesday right now. All right. Okay. Yeah, I went in there know. for breakfast the other day and a coffee, and I had a ham, egg, and cheese, and it was very good. Thank that you. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Amy does an outstanding job over so there. So that's Sanibel Fresh. So we got the two lazy Sanibel Fresh. What what else you got going on? Uh, the Sunset Grill. Which right, is which is where is that one? Right next to this Lazy Flamingo on Blind Pass. It's a whole little plaza there. Yep. And the Sunset Grill does breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The breakfast and lunch are casual, and then the dinner is more upscale, fine wine, fine steak, stuff like that. Yeah. Breakfast, best, best biscuits and gravy I've ever had. Okay. And I'm not getting I know all I'm these biased, good insider tips. That's the best thing. I love it. Oh. 
That's I right. live too close because I try to go there every morning. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's, surprised that, you don't weigh 300 pounds. That, that sums us up. We'll go into uh, uh, fresh on the way onto the island, thinking we're going to be all healthy for the day, and on the way off, then we'll be going to Lazy Flamingo and undo all the good we've done. Hey, right. it's all right. We, yeah. Yeah. There's no calories on our menu. So you're <laughs> Thank <okay>. you. <laughs> we appreciate that. So, and then, well, the Sanibel Sunset Grill is obviously there, but a great view, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the there. Sunset Grill, you can sit on the porch and actually watch the sunset. There's not too many restaurants on the island that you can actually watch exactly. the sunset while you eat. So, yeah. that's the unique thing about it as well, because, right. you know, with the sea turtles and the rules, and you, there's not too many places actually on, on the On the beach. actual so beach. we are across the street, but there's nothing... The no, side, nothing impeding your view, Correct. right. And the, the city just built that beautiful seawall and tore down all those uh, invasive trees. So we actually have a really an nice even better view. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Can't beat that. Yeah. Actually, there was, we noticed on one of the forums, there was actually a, st uh, a strong discussion about whether the lazy was actually on the water now because that's all been pulled down and you can actually yeah. see the the water now. Yeah, they were splitting hairs there, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> some people were being the gatekeepers on that. Yeah, right. So, Seriously. But, uh, yeah, it it's as close to the water as you're gonna get. I agree. Right, yeah. There's not like I said, um there's nothing really on the on the water. No. Unless you're in the resorts which are on the beach, there's no right. restaurants on, on the water. Right. right, which we you'll have to check out. We actually did we have a whole YouTube video about the waterfront restaurants on Sanibel. And we you guys were definitely mentioned in that you, because we get, we we agree. You're on the water. Thank you're, you. Yeah. And I'm actually going to tear all those trees out in the parking lot so that you have a better view. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, oh, wow. We are on the water. I was, it was making me mad. I'm like, we are close. <laughs> right. Get these trees out of the way. Then you won't be able to say anything. Right. All so right. tell me about the different brands. Like if you, you other, uh, there's other restaurants as well, isn't there? You've got. Uh, well, we talked about uh, the Lazies. We talked about Sandbell Fresh and Sunset Grill. And then one more thing, you have the grocery the, store. Yes, correct? the Santiva General Store right, right. next to right next to the sunset it's all on the plaza same plaza right there on uh blind pass and right we do uh pizza sandwiches at the store as well so you can come in there and get some so ice just cream so to, go. Pizza to go yeah yeah and we have basically all your necessities for when you're on captiva right i know oh, they just opened the island store they reopened that so that's closer for them but it was closed for a long time so right right and then is there a fish market that you have at the uh, we have the molly malone's right. fish market now in there so they have amazing crab cakes that you can come in and purchase. And right. We always have their stuff, whether they're there or not. We oh, have their okay. stuff in the back, so you can. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought it was just that you could only get it when they were actually there. We have their crab cakes uh, all the time now. Okay. So we keep them in stock for them. But right. Yeah, they do a great job running it out of there, and they have a huge following too. Right. And what days are they there? Do you know? Uh, they're there off in the, the top morning. Of your hand? Off the top of my head, right now, it's been changing a lot. Right. So I'm not exactly okay. sure what day they're there, but. I always we'll put it in the show notes. Loading, but yeah, I can get that information okay. for you. Okay, Absolutely. cool. So tell us a little bit about your experiences growing up on the island. So it's a it's a different place to grow up. I mean, there's definitely worse places to grow up, but uh, right. It was so cool. you went to Sanibel School. I from... went to Sanibel School till first grade, and then my sister went to Canterbury, so I went to Canterbury because it was just easier. To okay, so Canterbury, if you place. don't know, is a private school in Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. No, so. I went to Bishop Row for high school. Okay. Which um, is the other high yeah, which school? Which is where a lot of the kids from out here right, go to. Right, because there is no high school on the island. We Correct. only go from K through eight out here on mm -hmm. Sanibel, and then all the kids have to go into Fort Myers for yeah. And then for they high split. School. They split the island up with school choice, so just you never know where you're going to end up. So right. Unless you're doing the IB or Vero, you can kind of pick where you're going. Exactly. But it was cool. I mean, you know, we didn't have cars because we were too young to drive, but everyone had a little boat, and so you'd meet up out on the on the water and go really? somewhere, and go over to St. James City, the waterfront for lunch and uh -oh. stuff like that. So oh, cool. It's cool. I mean, you can't beat it. You yeah, know, they're on the water every day. Were you into fishing, fishing at all, or yeah, just boating? Love fishing. Really? Love fishing. Yep. Still do. Oh yeah. yeah. Love fishing. Snook. Yeah. I'm glad they closed the seasons though. The the fish have been great. The fish have been looking really healthy. Everyone's catching a lot of fish right now. All my buddies that are fishing guides are just killing it right Pulling now. It. Yeah, and they were said. I mean, they've been closed two, three years for snook. Yeah, maybe? about yeah, and they closed the redfish, the trout, and the snook. Yeah. What's that? What is that? I don't fish. So what does that mean? Do they just so basically we had a cold are snap uh, a few years back. It was it was a cold snap, and a lot of the fish got killed off, didn't mm -hmm. they? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So now you can't keep any of them. You have oh. to throw them all back. Doesn't matter the size or anything. There used to be slots where you could keep the fish and eat oh. them in a certain amount that you're allowed to keep, but now there's nothing. So now it's just for fun, basically. For yeah. Sport. Now it's all catch and release, which is great, I think, for the fish because they've, yeah. like I said, I've never seen so many snook people catching big snook too, and 
they're unique because they they are all born male and then they turn into females when they get a certain size. So people kept keeping all the big ones. They can't reproduce and everything. Oh, so wow. I didn't know that helps them a lot. Yeah, okay. I don't know how it works. Don't ask me how it works. <laughs> yeah, that's, explain that to us, please, Troy. I don't know yeah. how that works. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I wonder if they will open it up one day. I don't know. Eventually, I know the other coast. They're they're open, but they have a lot more than we do. So do they? yeah, I know. You know, with the with the water killed a lot of them too. The bad water. So it's the red ago. tide as well. The red it? tide killed a lot of them, but right. I mean, it's the water's been looking really nice. Amazing. I was out this morning and it was it was blue. Yeah, today like it's blue, crystal blue, blue. blue right now. Yeah. Like the Bahamas, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Maybe my eyes are getting tricked because it's been so gloomy the last couple of days, which is unusual for here. Yeah, but looking out, it was blue, blue, blue this morning. Oh, it's perfect out on bypass right now. Like I, I just left, and it was like, holy cow! Wow. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. don't even realize you're yeah. on sandbell. You look like you're in the top <laughs> That's true. Right. That's true. So, so tell so, us a little bit about. Sorry, it was oh, say I was just same? gonna say, where did you go after high school? Have you actually left the area, or are you? Uh, I, I, after high school, yeah, I went to the University of Alabama. All right, so you I, escaped Florida for a I little left. bit. I was like, I got to get out of here. We had three inches of snow one year, and I was like, I gotta get back. <laughs> really? It's way too cold here. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Everybody, I think most people in Florida have a pipe dream or a dream that they want to go to the. If you speak to anybody that's lived here for any length of time, they're gonna say, I want to go up into the mountains, and I want to go for four seasons, and I want. And I think the reality of going up in the mountains and then getting snowed in and not being able to get to the closest Seven Eleven, which is they quickly come thirty back. miles away, they quickly yeah. come back. But yeah. Yeah. Seasons are cool till you see them in real life, and then it's like, right. oh. yeah, if they could <laughs> the stop at cooler. autumn and restart at spring, or yeah, something like that. It's like yeah. winter. Right. I'm not a big winter guy. Yeah, I don't like the cold. So. No. Uh, I came back. Yeah, oh, that's funny. So tell tell us a little bit about the. Uh, I think Laurie first came across you. Uh, cross referencing each other, maybe on. Uh, so you've got an, a role with the historical society. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm a member of the Sanibel Historical uh, Preservation Committee, where we uh, basically, you know, keep track of all the buildings that are on the historical list, look for new buildings to add to the historical list, things like that, and then uh, when they want to make changes to things people have to come up and uh, explain what's going on just to make sure people don't change the buildings that are on the historical list to where they're not historical. And so I actually right. grew up in the Shorehaven, which is now the first house you walk into in the historical village. Oh, okay. Oh, you lived in that actual house? Yes, sir. Yeah, really? I lived in there for a while. And then- uh, they, And where was that located before it was moved to the When you're coming over the causeway to the island, it's eight houses down. And it's the first dock. It's obviously not there anymore. It's a much, oh, okay. much bigger house now. They actually picked the whole house up at one time and just drove it down the street. Okay. Wow. And they had to move. They had to rip the mailboxes up as the house went and then put them back in because it was too wide. For wow. The wow. Okay. And they moved it over to the historical village and... And it's been so it. everybody can you can go visit it now. You can go visit See, yeah, the it looks house that Troy just like when lived I lived in. It's kind of creepy sometimes. It's, oh wow! It's cool though, but the the bedrooms they turn into offices and everything upstairs. But the living room and the kitchen where they, when you go in now, it's like the the meeting area. They play a little video for you and it's in the kitchen and it, it looks just like when I walked out. So. Any, any toys of yours still there? Still got like an old Atari or something? I got some stuff hidden in the floorboards. Okay. Ooh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what year was Shorehaven built? It's a know? 1920s uh, Sears and Roebuck catalog. So on. explain no that. Way. What did the Sears and Roebuck? So they had a Sears and Roebuck catalog with a bunch of build kit houses in them. And so you bought the house and they'd send the kit over and you have to put it together. Really? And so they bought that and it came over during a storm and a barge and a bunch of the pieces fell off. And so the island kids had to go swimming, diving, and they found all the pieces and they all put it together. And no way. So, no so way. it was there. It's, it's pretty cool. You can go see it right now. It's Shorehaven. It's first one when you walk in and, and then here, how, Troy, pull, pull that mic in front of your face a little bit like how, that way pull it that way so as you're looking that way it's just okay. a little bit more were you here. born in that house or, or how long did you live there uh no i lived in that house for probably about 10 That's years uh, i grew up on dingan's bayou okay uh down there by clan bayou and everything right that's where uh that's where i was brought after the hospital okay but, uh, and then you moved to shorehaven yes yeah, so then we moved to the bay and and then once we sold that house they picked it up and got rid of it well, they didn't get rid of it. They right. preserved it. They preserved it. They preserved That's it. Super so, cool. so they just to clarify, they actually the whole house fell in the in the pieces. In the pieces. pieces oh, of it. just pieces so it of come, it. So it came over in a kit, right? And it was all in pieces, and the right. couple, several pieces fell into the water that were. And was it your water. parents that built it, or was it? it no, was no, a, no. This was in the twenties. The twenties. Oh, twenties. Okay. This was in the twenties. Yeah. yeah. 
and okay. the, we still have the Sears and Roebuck. Sorry, Larry, I know you're not that old, really. He's up there, but he's not. <laughs> he's not that old. He's going to hate me for that one. <laughs> oh, so you still he's have, a, you have the later. catalog? <laughs> we donated the catalog to the historical. Can village. you see that? At the yeah, they have it there. They have that they there. They have it, and you can look at it, and the price of things are crazy. I wonder how much the house was to buy. Do it you remember? It was only a couple hundred dollars. No way. Yeah, it wasn't too much at all. They had like guns in there for like $5. Like, it's... It's pretty crazy the stuff they had in there, you know, chairs for a cent, couple cents. That's it was really cool. pretty cool to look at. That yeah. is really cool. We got tools, you know, hammers for like twenty cents. Really? Things uh, like that. Yeah. yeah. What well, time to be alive? Yeah. Man, <laughs> if it, only we would have. It was pretty cheap. Yeah, seriously. So do you uh, do you mentioned earlier about it might have been before we started recording. Do you do you ride motorcycles or are you? Uh... Yeah, I have a motorcycle. Oh, do you? Yes, okay, I'm I a rider ride. myself. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, like I'm. I don't ride during season because there's way too many people out here. Right. Yeah. But now that it's starting to slow down, I'll bring it back out and I like to ride around the island. I try to stay away from Fort Myers on it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I cruise. Around. It's a nice little island cruiser. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. Get a little tan. Yeah. yeah, get a little tan. Yeah. And we speaking of island, I actually just noticed your tattoo on your arm. Show oh, everybody. Yeah, this, this the lighthouse. Oh no! Well, show it to that camera. To camera three. Yeah, uh, right. That one there. Oh no, that's out. There you uh, go. Oh, there it is. Go. Okay, you can see it over there. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you I actually, actually have. There's a diehard the uh, Sanibel right fan. That's the island right here, and then I have the the city seal. The seal. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. The and shell. the shells. The shelling capital of the world. So. Yes. Oh yep. my gosh. Love the Sanibel sleeve. I've Love seen. shelling. <laughs> <laughs> been trying to get that genonia my whole life. I, haven't, I have not found it yet. You cannot the put the tattoo until you have, have found the genonia. I know. I, um, I've That's, got some people that uh, I work with that have found a couple, and I'm like, oh, That's a testament to how rare they really are. They so really are. Lived there, lived here 28 years and never seen one. I Actually, haven't. you know what's nearly as rare? Is a sheller that's under seventy five years old, and we got, one, we got a living that's specimen right here. My mom took me out every day shelling after school, every single day. Really, really? really? taught me all about the shells. Now, has your mom found a gin on you? No, she hasn't. Oh, she hasn't either. No way. I've got the itch from her because she always told me we had to find a genonia. Right. I, we found pieces of them, but never. You never, never actually found the whole one. Yeah, I've seen some. I've seen people catch some nice ones when when the people come on vacation and get them. I'm like, oh. Man, I know, I'm and you so can lucky. actually, if you don't know, you can actually get your picture in the newspaper. That's all I want. That's all Pretty I want. A picture in the I island just sun. Hold the genonia in the island sun, but. <laughs> I haven't yet. Wow. One day. All right. That's We're going to so have to fun. plant one out there one day. Awesome, Max. Have you got something for us? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Should we move into trivia? Let's let's do some. Let's see how this, this is our the we guy do covered weekly in, trivia. Uh, so in tats, Sanibel Tats is now we're going to see if he's the real deal or not. Here oh, we go. Man. All right. Yeah. So I'm you're just going to write your answers on the uh, on that little page. You got a sharpie for everyone. Yep. Yeah. There you go. You go. Yep. All right. So as we're on the lazy flamingo topic, I've made some restaurant themed Sanibel themed. Trivia. All right. Nothing about the lazy flamingo because I think Troy may have a distinct advantage. Exactly. But uh, I learn something new every day, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, question number one This restaurant is Sanibel Island's westernmost public eatery. It's gone very quiet. (laughs) (laughs) The westernmost restaurant on the island. Okay. I've got my answer. Has everyone got it? Yeah. All right. We'll start with you, Mom. I'm going for the Normandy. Dad? It's the Mad Hatter, the other end of the island. Troy, what do you have? Mad Hatter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That is correct. (laughs) (laughs) I was thinking of West Gulf Drive. Oh, my gosh. So I ended up with a Normandy. It is also a Twin Island Resort. I think it's like 10 feet past the sunset. Yeah. Almost. There you go. And I was also I was thinking about it's also the northernmost. I made it public eatery because the sanctuary is technically farther north than uh, the Mad Hatter, but it's not public. Okay. But right. so I changed splitting it to Westernmost, so it wasn't splitting now. hairs. Okay. It is the most northwest uh, restaurant, the Mad Hatter. Ugh. Not far behind is the Lazy Flamingo. Close. Okay. Yeah, very close. Perfect. Don't throw away. Yeah. All right. So this is. All right. Here we go. All right. So it's one 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 zip. one one zero. All right. The Lazy Flamingo survives this gluttonous bird named restaurant that closed in July 2012. Oh, gluttonous I know, bird. I know exactly what it is. Uh, okay. Lots of scribbling. I think I think everyone seems to know it. 
What what you got? Should we all say on three? Yep. Three, One, two, two three. three. Hungry, Hungry Heron. Heron. Okay. <laughs> all right. This one it should be a little bit harder. Which was on Palm Ridge um, yeah, Road. You, was, you worked at the Hungry Heron, Mom, right? I did when For we how first long? moved here. Oh, gosh. Maybe a year? Maybe less? I was really young, but I remember going in there. Yes, you guys. You yeah, like my best friend's mom worked there as long as I could, until it shut down. Really? Yep. What was her name? Lynn Moore. Yeah. yeah. Laurie knows Lynn. Mm. I do. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. now Hungry Heron is now called Rosie's. Yeah. They've just started up, I believe. New Under new ownership, under I think. Under new ownership. And I've heard really great things yeah, we about Rosie's. Yeah, we got to go Rosie's. and check it out. It's supposed to be really good. Yeah. Yeah. I had really good breakfast there. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You're, no. you're a breakfast man. I love breakfast. I can eat it <laughs> three times a day. Yeah. I'm, nice. I'm a breakfast man. All right. Last question. What are we at? This is going to one, be- one. One, no, two, no, two, 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 one. Two, two, one. All right. I keep this. So you're for the win, Lori. You're in last place. Just I am. saying. <laughs> For it's the, the first, first time, time ever. ever. Say that. I don't know. Hold on. Don't if answer anyone's going to get because I just want to revel in it. See that flag <laughs> behind you, Max? This, this is, is a great day in history. <laughs> <laughs> England has won a Euro against uh, Denmark, and they're in the finals on Saturday. And Sunday. I, what well, even Sunday? What's even bigger is I am officially ahead with Troy. In, in the, the this, this is our 11th episode and dad has never beat mom in trivia you didn't so. have to bring that up <laughs> ever did and you really have mom to bring still that has a chance to tie so keep don't it positive all right let's go positive. you ready on. bring it oh, on no i'm enjoying it i'm ready i'm enjoying my moment go this no, don't. island tradition has been delighting its guests since 1895 claiming to be sanibel's first dining room I'll read it one more time. This this island tradition has been delighting its guests since 1895, claiming to be Sanibel's first dining room. So it's a tradition or it's a dining room? There's no questions. It's it's a restaurant. There's no questions. It's the first first dining room. That's what their claim is on on their website. Oh, okay. All right. First dining room. That's what they called it. It is now a restaurant. Uh Uh-oh. Troy stumped. He stumped. I've never seen that. Um... Take a guess. Take I, a guess. I searched far and wide to try to find the oldest restaurant, and there's not many articles about it. The one that I did find is Cielo is in the place of... What used re- to be Jack's? Jack's, which was started in like the 40s. Right. But this yeah. is obviously much older than that. Yeah. Okay, go and for it. It was at the Harbor House in 1999. Yep. Just saying. Um, who wants to go first? I'll go. I put traditions. Okay, the which, which is not... Tr- technically correct. What? What did you put, Dad? What did you put? I've got traditions too, but I just added a little something, something to it. Okay, Troy. What did you get? It? Did you get an answer, Troy? I, I put the community house. I, I didn't know that answer. Okay. I really. Know What's that, the what, technical? Cool. I want to know, Max. What Would is you the let, real word, real name for it? Traditions on the beach. Traditions on the beach. Let's let's see it, Dad. There we go. Traditions on the beach. Here, show it to camera four. Traditions on what? the beach. No, Mom, did you write traditions on the beach? <laughs> He's got it. Oh, no. uh, I get half of it. I put traditions on the water. So I'm, I'm no, half, you did not. I did. Traditions on the water. Why? What? Because I just like the water. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I still get I still get half a point more than uh, Laurie. So uh, so actually, you're claiming the victory, Dad. Is, that, actually, is that the last question? That's the last question. It's a great week for everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Unbelievable. That's Win at trivia. Rang the bell. Win against Denmark. Mm. Get to ring the bell for the first time. For the first time in 11, 11, Max, do you have to keep 11 up? episodes? Do you have to bring up? I just want what to year was that? that what year the traditions? 1895. Wow. That's according to their website, so they could be lying. Yeah. Okay. And we'll I'll have to reach Andre, out. The, uh, the owner there now has not been there since the start. I know that much. Good, no. good to yeah, know. No. I'm sure he hasn't. Great <laughs> restaurant, though. Go and check it out. It's, oh, yeah. at, it's at the back of uh, Island Inn, and we did a video about that. Uh, the oldest uh, restaurant on the island. So uh, we did the, the, no, o- we the did. oldest resort actually resort. on the island is is the yeah. island in yeah. Oh, yeah I island didn't know that. Yeah, it used to have a road going directly there from Bailey's, I believe. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the island in road. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, there you um, go. It's still there. They just close it off. Right, sometimes. you can't. Yeah. you can't yeah. drive down it. You, you can ride your bike it. though. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Close us out. Okay, well, Troy, anything else, uh, any other tips you'd like to get? What's your favorite thing to do on the, th- on the island? Anything that somebody visiting that wouldn't know, wouldn't get out of the tourist books, give them a little nugget of information, something they can do that they wouldn't necessarily think of. Wouldn't think of. Um, I, I'm a big beach guy. I like to hit the beaches, but I really like all the wildlife, and there's a lot of trails that 
people don't know about out here mm -hmm. that like um, Pond Apple Trail is really nice that they just built right behind Sanibel Fresh. You can get into there from our parking lot. And so right. A lot of the nature stuff, I mean, most of the islands are nature preserves. So right. Ding Darling's great. I know that's in all the books, but there's, still, there's little trails that you can find that are, you know, off the beaten path that are really, really cool to check out and right. you can basically see all kinds of wildlife. You know, you, you never know you'll walk up hit a gator or something you know you'll never, uh, you'll never know sure is absolutely right pond apple trail is one of the best because it's totally undeveloped there's water there so you will see gators yep. and there's a bit of everything back there a great area for walking dogs and i'm not saying that tongue in cheek but um and then you've also got pick preserve which is opposite which is another one that a lot of people don't know about which is opposite the school Mm -hmm. um, another great one that, yeah. that people don't go to a lot. Yep. So, yeah. There's a lot of bald eagles on Pond Apple Trail as well. That's cool. Yeah. A lot of bald eagles. Insider tip right there. There yep. we go. Yep. You can see about three or four there on any given day. Oh, cool. And a great Good. photography spot. A lot of photographers go in there and, mm -hmm. and uh, do it. Uh, you can always, yeah, there's always, always something, something to see. To photograph. And, that's uh, a good tip. Always, yeah, 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 that's a good one. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, definitely, everybody go check out the Laser Flamingo. It's one of our favorites for sure. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. And there's uh, two on the island one in uh, Fort Myers, which is down by the College Parkway Bridge. And then there's one, is there still one in um, Boquilia, Boquilia yeah, in which we, we've been to by boat a few times? Yes. Uh, it's on the top end of Pine Island. Uh, totally one of our f uh, best. Uh, favorite restaurants and it's one we go to Thank all the you. time and have done for 20 years so yeah thoroughly recommend it and um that's it i think thanks very much for joining us thanks troy it's been me. a pleasure to have you yeah thanks. Thanks. And hopefully you'll come back on again sometime so yeah uh, i guess because we didn't anytime. really dive into the historical society much so we'll have to we'll, we'll there's more to talk about yeah because yeah. you just a lot to talk yeah about right because you just got nominated or yeah i've, I've only petition. had two meetings so far okay they're they're cool there's a lot of really really nice people on it as well and right really nice people in the whole city yeah um there's a lot of people that are just just passionate of knowledge right and passionate about the sanibel everyone yeah so they they're all very passionate like you said about keeping it preserving the stuff that needs to be preserved but also understanding that you know the time is progress to develop and progress right. and not right. holding everything back but right that some of the things that are special on the island do need to, to keep it that way as close to special as they can cool right and everybody go to the historical museum and see troy's old house yep come on in <laughs> <laughs> which was your bedroom were you ups upstairs to the right okay but you can't get up there you said there's offices it's up offices there manager. okay yeah we all we all shared it was just two bedrooms so we all shared the one bedroom and then my parents had the other one. Oh wow it was, it's so a small cool. it was a small house you, yeah if you go there you'll see it so it's not too much but yeah it was you know good memories a lot of memories it was a great location right on the water so yeah i can't i have no complaints no Perfect. I think you do. That's awesome. All right. All right. What are you writing, Nick? Just a couple of notes here for things for next store, next, next, next time to talk about. So excellent. Well, thanks very much for joining us, Troy. Um, it's very kind of you to come on. Uh, I'd just like to say a quick thank you to our sponsors, uh, Breakaway Vacations. Bailey's General Store has uh, joined in as a sponsorship. We're very excited about that. So you can expect a video about Bailey's coming up very shortly. They've got some cool things going on. Yeah, yeah. they've got awesome. some great things going on. There's going to be a whole new store. And yeah, it's going to be really cool. Not a whole new store. I don't want to spread, spread renovation rumors here. Right. But, uh, and then we've got Gator Bites Tail and Ale, which is just off the island. The best place to grab uh, a bit of gator if you haven't had it. And three crafty ladies has also joined us. So uh, across the street, and hopefully maybe Larry and uh, the Lazy Flamingo hey. might want to start sponsoring us <laughs> too. You, you never know. <laughs> maybe I could coerce him on a night out to doing sushi or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and uh, then um, just check it. Just a little uh, thing that you touched on about the waters and everything. If you want to check out more information about what happened with the waters, uh, check out the a great charity called uh, Captains for Clean Water. Uh, do some amazing work. So check that out too. Everything right. will be in the links in the description below. And uh, thanks very much. My name's Nick. I'm Lori. I'm Max. Oh, oh. sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do that again. Yeah. I'm Nick. Sorry. I'm Lori. Troy. I'm Max. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> second time around. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. There we go. Cool. Thanks, man. Great. Thank you. Thank you.